Hello, Minecrafters. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough in the construction of a diamond engine. This is a device to turn cobblestone into diamonds as fast as possible. It uses the Technic Pack, which includes Buildcraft and Equivalent Exchange, primarily. There's a few others that I'm also tapping into. This is the platform where we'll build the diamond engine. And this, which I've already pre-built, is a cobblestone generator. Let's get over here and take a look at this guy. It's simple enough I didn't want to bore you with the construction of it. It's a lot of the same thing repeating over and over again. Got water and lava and block destroyers all attached to redstone and in the back there is a redstone timer from Red Power 2. Let's hop over here, take a look. There's a time. I've got it disconnected so it's not generating cobblestone at the moment. So let's go up top a look at its construction. Down each side you've got water source blocks here on this ledge and they're pouring down to this lower area. This means that when these gets destroyed by the block destroyers underneath and sucked down and dropped below, the water doesn't flow on top of the block destroyers. Instead the lava then becomes able to spread out in both directions where it touches the water and refreezes into the cobblestone, as you see here. And that's all there is to this device. Well, and down below, we've got uh, conveyor belts to carry the items to the end, where they go into a obsidian build craft pipe, accelerated by a gold, a powered gold pipe, and sent over to the engine. So let's go over and build the engine. I've got the base set up. The glass is just here, so we can put the top layer together, and it starts with a chest. Now the whole design of this chest is to be as compact as possible, and to use as few materials as possible, and in such it all uses a single chest, because the automatic crafting tables, as you see here, I'm placing all six of them down, can get their materials from a nearby chest, and all six of these crafting tables will take material from that center chest. Now I'll get rid of the glass. I said it was just there so we can place these first few items. There we go. Now all the things inside will be shunted back into the center chest as they get processed from the crafting tables. So let's set up this piping. Now note that this one is not all, all the, the uh, I've got the wooden pipes suck the items out of the crafting tables, and every time they get power from an engine, they or at the top of the engine stroke they'll if the uh, items are available in the chest, create the item that's patterned in the automatic crafting table and output it back into the chest. But as you can see here, this iron pipe, which has only one way to get out, is not facing the right way. Now it is. As you hit it, it cycles between, but I want the clear side facing into the chest. That's important. Where you'll get backup and dropped items. Now, this will all be built with, or all be powered with wooden redstone engines. And that one's not facing the right way, which we'll fix in a moment. And there's that one. We'll tap it with the wrench. All facing up. There we go. And there's one more that goes here. Notice I didn't put a wooden pipe on this one because this will be the final output table. We don't want it feeding back in. We're going to have it going out to another chest here. Now all this is going to be powered by some uh, red wire here, which I will now lay down. That's on this side. up to a lever, which I will put here. Now let's just get it fired up because we want these engines to warm up. It takes them quite some time to fully warm up. Yeah, that'll get that engine. And until they're at full power, they will not be able to handle the amount of cobblestone this thing puts out at its maximum speed. So we're going to have that slowed way down at first until these things are flashing red and they're at their warmest. But first we need to add a few more pipes to the system. 
the output pipe, which I'll put here, and the uh, wooden pipe that we'll be outputting. There it goes. And now we need to connect this whole thing to the output of the cobblestone generator, which will come in like so. And it connects up to the bottom, it goes straight up into the chest. And that is it. It is ready and running and functional. All we have to do is give it some cobble. So let's run over here. The timer's already going. Let's hook it up to our block destructors. Bang! There's the first set of cobblestone. Now I have this thing set at four and a half seconds, which will be about right for... actually, let's make it five and a half seconds. At one and a half seconds, it'll be just right when this thing is flashing red and running at full speed. But if you want to see what's happening upstairs, real quick, now that it's running. See the lava spreads out, the blocks eat the cobblestone, drop it below, the lava spreads out, creates new cobblestone, just that easy. Now we'll run back over here. They're moving along at a nice pace because I have a few gold pipes, and they're going into the center chest. Oh, yeah, there is one thing we forgot. Well, that's better do that right away. We forgot to program the automatic crafting tables. Let's get up there and do that quickly here. All right, now two of them. It says everyone needs a philosopher's stone. And I'm going to fill this one completely up with cobblestone to create clay. And this one's going to be exactly the same. And since it's already running, I'm going to put the cobblestone in first so it doesn't create anything on the way there. Actually, it won't. The next step is clay, six clay, with a philosopher's stone. We'll create iron. For iron, we'll create one gold, and for gold, will create one diamond. Now let's put a philosopher's stone in the center chest, which they will all share. Craft, uh, automatic crafting tables that are using a philosopher's stone have to have a chest nearby with a philosopher's stone in it, so that they'll function. But because all of these are attached to the same chest in the middle, they can all share the same philosopher's stone, and I've never had any problem with that. Now they're running. So there's now some clay in here. Let's go look underneath. Yep, there's uh, clay coming out of these two. Going back into the chest. Everything cycles back into that center chest. And over here we should be seeing the first of the... Uh, yep, there's the iron. Going in, and every four iron will allow a gold to come out of this one. That was two. There was probably already one in there. Maybe this one will... Once it goes into the chest, will trigger the creation of... Oh, there, there's a gold. It had already been triggered. Every four gold, we'll have a diamond coming out of this one. And every nine diamonds... That's the last step here. Every nine diamonds... No Philosopher's Stone needed for this one. Create a diamond block, which will be output to our chest. Now, uh, because there's no pipe coming out of this side of the iron uh, pipe, can actually get at the chest from this corner. And we can see that it's built up quite a couple, bit of cobblestone because it was already being fed before I had it fully armed and turned on. And it may still build up faster than it can eat it. Until these things are warmed all the way up to the flashing red, they're, they're going to be struggling a little bit. And it's going to be building up. You may need to babysit it or slow down your cobblestone generator a little bit until it's heated up. And... Uh, Let's uh, prime it with a few diamonds here. Let's give it eight diamonds. So when it creates the ninth diamond, which I think it just did. Did it just create it? No, it's still going. Oh, they just heated up to green. We'll go a little faster now. Up, oh, we're at three gold. One more gold, and we'll be able to create a diamond. And then it'll also create a whole stack, because I just dumped eight in there, and it needs nine. There's the gold. 
and I'll go back into the center stack, center chest. There it goes. I'll generate a diamond, and there's the diamond. This diamond will be the ninth one, which will satisfy the needs for this automatic crafting table. There it goes, and out should come a diamond block. Isn't that pretty? And it'll get dumped in this chest. And when it's running at full capacity, all of these engines running flashing red, that thing at a, one and a half seconds, it should create about one diamond a minute, or about a diamond block every nine or ten minutes. And turning them out that fast, I mean, you can, you can expand this, you can have multiple uh, engines, and even more cobblestone generator. Uh, don't get a leak when you're running that high. I know that uh, I forgot a section of pipe at one point during some initial tests, and it was dumping all of the cobblestone on the ground. And it was a piece of pipe that was underground, so I didn't know. <laughs> and with that many drops building up, the game slowed to a major crawl. So make sure that you don't have any leaks. If things start slowing down, that's probably what's happening. And that is the diamond engine. And the cobblestone generator. But there's lots of people who have shown those off. I'm not demonstrating. This is my creation. This is the diamond engine. Nice compact converter of cobblestone to diamonds. And that is all. Oh, if you do want to hook this up to, say, a quarry, because quarries put out a lot of other things like dirt and uh, gravel and sand and so forth, you can turn off the diamond block crafting table and have only one uh, cobblestone to clay generator and use those two to convert uh, dirt to cobble Sand, and gra sand or gravel to cobble. You can't do a full set with one engine, but you can have a second engine to handle the excess and pipe. Only things this engine can handle straight to it using a diamond pipe and other things to the second engine and have it, anything it creates that this one can handle pipe back into this one. I actually had a, a setup with three of these engines that would handle a quarry but uh, using a cobblestone generator instead of a quarry, as long as you don't need the uh, specialty uh, ores like uh, tin and uh, copper, this does have lots of nice ores, but uh, then uh, this thing with the equivalent exchange will get you everything else. But that is the diamond engine. Hope you enjoy. Let me know if you build anything interesting with it or can improve on it in any way. And this is Non-Sanity signing out.